Welcome back, everybody. This is Lady Dubs, and we're picking up right where we left off. Uh, on to the other side of the building? Yeah, other side of the building where we will find... Hopefully the antidote or vaccine, was it? I think that's what they called it. For Sherry. The West Area. Okay. Sorry for... Uh, shaking off the cobwebs in my hair. <sighs> Gotta get into it. Okay, let's do this. Very futuristic, I must say. I'm that antiviral agent. Oh. Soon. Sorry, I keep on hitting the map button instead of the run button. <laughs> okay, so it's an antiviral agent, not a vaccine. Now, I guess a vaccine wouldn't really help you. If you're already infected with it. Did, did I remember to bring my knife? Yes, I did. Okay. And we are going to poke this gentleman. Okay. And I think he... Did I notice something here? Yeah, he's got a lab digital cassette tape. Let's, uh... Operation Nest Wrecker Part 1. Okay. So we found Part 1. Now we just need to find a television set. Eh. Uh -huh. Eh? Okay. I think we're good here. You know what? I'm gonna turn up the volume in my ear one moment, please. Okay, that's better. I can hear a little better now. Well, I can hear much better now. Oh, okay, so OSS. Okay, that's the one we gotta do. Okay, all set up. Lights on. Lovely. Well, not lovely necessarily, because this place looks like it's seen better days, but still good. Oh, dang it, I keep on hitting the wrong button. William Birkin's inbox. Sender Jane Doyle, subject suspending research on G. The Umbrella Corporation has decided to cease all research on G, which was ongoing at the Nest Underground Laboratory. All funding for this project has been cut, and Laboratory Director William Birkin will be removed from his post. Sender B.E., subject none. Thank you for your mail, Dr. Birkin. Top Brass has expressed an interest in this evolving bioweapon you mentioned. Do not worry about costs. Our company is the most well-funded in the whole of the United States. All right, he was... Tr Birkin, once his funding got cut, tried to sell off G to someone else. Sender Richard Kelser. Kessler, congratulations. I heard the good news. G is almost ready. Strange you never thought to report it to the research lab here at Umbrella HQ, but I suppose I can let that slide. Anyway, send over the data, would you? And don't worry. You've done good work on G, but we can take care of the rest. Sender Jane Doyle, notice of admonish, admonishment. You are under suspicion of breaching your contract with the Umbrella Corporation. It has become clear that you have claimed ownership of the G project and have been authorized to con and have been in unauthorized contact with the U.S. military. Please respond to the investigation committee summons within 24 hours. Yeah, he never responded. And I'm fairly certain. Yeah, VHS player. Let's pop this bad boy in and see what we got. Nest Wrecker Part One. So that's Birkin. And those are the dudes that are dead in the sewer. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. You think I didn't know you were coming? This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! Yeah, Martinez. We're in, sir. But we had a snafu. Target resisted. We had to take him out. That's correct, sir. Roger that. Just the samples, then. Let's 
Let's move. And now we know how those samples got down there in the first place. And how they ended up infecting everyone in that area. Like, the rats carried it. And god, this looks like where, like, a human sacrifice was done. bio Ractor's room. Oh! Oh, dang it! How many more times am I gonna make that mistake? Hopefully not many, because there are gonna be times where I'm gonna be panicking, and that's not gonna help. Uh, is there anything else I can read in here? I feel like there should be. No? Oh, but I did get some high-grade ammo. Oh, that's just water. Okay, we're fine. Uh, I kind of remember this place. Oh, there's, there's the umbrella symbol, symbol up there. Okay, I think I'm fine for now. Yeah, okay. I'm cool here for now. Ugh. Right. Those things. Forgot about them. These are, I guess, different parts of G. Can't... There's nothing to read. But we got, like, the gross eyeballs, the gross arms, and the... What the hell? Is that a brain? I guess. Laboratory. William Birkin and Annette Birkin. Okay, so this is Annette's lab. Let's... See if we can find that antiviral agent. I don't see anything inside this aquarium. It's also a little odd that you have an aquarium in a lab. It seems unsanitary. Ah, family photo right here on their office. Well, that's depressing. Okay, what's this say? Research diary. Subject 449, embryo growth observations. After the G embryo was implanted in the subject, we made a 50 centimeter incision from the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between 15 lucid GC10. However, the subject's con conscious le consciousness level deteriorated and further observations was deemed unnecessary. The subject was then disposed of. Breeding rate observation subject 501. The G virus was administered to Subject 501. 501 mutated into G form and was introduced to a group of 30 test subjects. After 2 hours and 36 minutes, it is observed that all but one of the test subjects had been implanted with the embryo. All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during experimentation and took their own life. T virus resistance experimentation. Ah, the T virus, that's the zombie one. So the G virus is the thing that Birkin has, and the T virus is what everyone else has. All right, so T virus resistance experimentation, subjects 628 and 6239. We administer the G virus to subject 628, who had shown slight resistance to the T virus. The virus was then introduced to subject 639, with whom 628 had a close relationship. Oh, I think those are the two boys from the orphanage. 628 showed signs of resistance, but he had been implanted within an embryo after 24 minutes. T-virus resistance does not does nothing to stop the mental deterioration caused by the G-virus. <sighs> Did I really need to know that? Did I really need to know that? Oh, well, this is where Birkin was shot. Yeah, screw that guy. Uh, I don't have the key. God damn it. Reincarnation, I missed the rest of that. <laughs> Look at that. Alright. Hell yeah. Thank you, Sherry. Got it. And I know what's up ahead of me. The antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. You know what? Before we do that, we are going to save. Oh boy, I know what's coming up ahead. I, I, I'm i armed to the teeth, though. I got... Why does that keep happening? Alright, it's gone. I'm armed to the teeth, though. I should be ready to roll. Oh boy. Oh, what is the... It's because in another game, I think it's Far Cry 5, you, you run by clicking control, not shift. Or maybe it's Minecraft I'm getting it mixed up with. I was playing a lot of Minecraft recently. In my spare time. But I don't think that matters! 
in that bullet. What the hell is this thing? That was my husband. <sighs> she is my creation! He injected himself with G oh. to survive. I should have killed him while I had the chance. I don't know why, I just... I couldn't do it. He was your husband. Honestly, we were more married to our work than each other. But what about Sherry? How could you just leave her all alone while Rackham City burned to hell? I couldn't let my daughter grow up in a world with the G-Virus in it. But that's no excuse Uh, 
uh, uh, grenade. Uh, equip. Oh, dang it, I did it again. Throw it. I did not throw that far enough. to get all the goodies that were scattered about here. I'll catch you guys later. Okay, I picked this place dry. Let's go up to Annette and Sherry, shall we? Yeah, I'll just run there. I'll see you guys when I make it. You know, there's no bottom to that. It feels like a very big design flaw. Also, what the hell is that blue energy? How can this be anything else but a villain lair with a bottomless pit and some blue energy powered grinders? I don't know why people thought that these guys were good guys. Clearly they were evil from the get-go. Now before I pop my head to say hi to Sherry and her mom, we're going to save because we're not that stupid. We're still pretty up there, don't get me wrong. Just not that bad. I also got a lot of good weapons. See? Good weapons. Oh boy. This is... I remember what's happening up ahead. Hey. Your eyes all better. I knew you'd make it. My mom needs help. Annette? <sighs> Sherry, or how are you? Okay, but you don't look so good. Yeah, your daddy kind of killed her. Oh. Oh. I don't think you need to know that. Hey, look at the screen. Oh, thank God. So Sherry's gonna be all right? She'll be weak for a little while, but yes, she's free of the G-Virus. Did you hear that? What happened to her? She was attacked by the mother. Worry about me. Take my daughter to safety. I'm sorry, Sherry. For everything. Your life is what is important. We can't just leave her here. You're right, we can't. Attention, unauthorized removal of a level four virus detected. What does that mean? It's a self-destruct code. Figures. In case the G virus leaves the building. Save my daughter. Mom. Mom, say goodbye. 
face, Sherry. Listen. She loved you, okay? You really gotta get going. Come on. Oh, man. You were right about this jacket. I'm so lucky to have you. So we can talk more about that later. We gotta hurry now. Come on. At least her last act was a noble one. Okay, we got our new chip. Now we can get in everywhere. Can you walk faster? I don't want to rush you, but we have to go. We gotta run, girl. This villain lair is gonna self-destruct. Don't worry, we have access to the... Only elevator to get us out of here, but for some reason it only has access to like the higher ranking people around here. What's up with Let's that? Get the hell out of here. Also, what does it matter if you blow up the facility when the G virus is already out of the building? It's out of the building. It's too late. I guess it's just cover your tracks. Oh yeah. The blue light is gone. It's replaced with red fire and lightning. Jeez, this place is Villain Lair 101! Claire? Yeah? Thank you for being so nice to me. For helping me. I'm really glad I met you. I'm really glad I met you too, Sherry. But save your thanks until I get you out of this place. Yeah, <laughs> it's... I know what's ahead of me, girl. And it ain't easy. I might end up dying a few times. Oh, health break. I knew there was something here. Okay. Is there anything else? Uh, yeah. Wait, I could have sworn that there was like a mod... Something I can read here, right? Pardon me while I just look at this. I could have sworn there was something I could read. I guess I was wrong. Okay, we're out. There. I saw, like, the, gr the ground's crumbling, or ceiling, whatever. Oh, boy. Okay, here comes! Alright, folks, here comes the countdown. Let's go. Oh, I thought we I'm sure the countdown starts here. Come on, Sherry. Oh, no, here's the countdown. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is a... Plant monster taking care of Sherry, run! Ah! Back on. Ah! Come on, come on, just fall over. Okay, thank you. Alright, we don't need to finish them off. We just need to stun them. Oh, plant! Lovely. Uh, how do we get down? Oh, okay. Hurry down, please, Claire. We are on a strict... No, 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 it's not going down. Okay, you're on a strict schedule. Please climb faster. Oh, gosh, she's climbing so slow. Okay. Uh, come on. Open door. Of course. Stupid thing's locked. Figures. Hold on. Sure, what are you... I think I can open it from the other side. Cool. You do that, girl. Up there. God damn it. Don't worry about that thing. Relax. You are not gonna be a problem to me. Hopefully. Come on, Sherry, can you hurry it up, please? I'm hearing more. Oh, that, that, that's why I'm hearing more. Just get in the thing already. Sherry! Thank you! No, no, she's still not in. Okay, I'm not gonna bother shooting again until... Oh, she's in? She's in. Okay. I'm not gonna shoot him again. I got it! Okay, good. Thank you, Sherry. I love you. You're the bravest little girl ever. Nice work, Sherry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Let's get out of here. Why is everything on fire? Uh, uh, this one. Swap this out. And acid round. Yeah, I made some acid rounds for the road, too. 
until detonation. Oh, God. Sherry, oh, you're, you're right in there. Platform. I'm right behind you. Had a girl. I believe you. I think we're almost out of here. Uh. Uh, combine that with that. Okay. Worth a try. Uh, okay, nothing really worth, uh, putting in the deposit box, I suppose, because I can use these health items. Okay. Uh, there should be, like, a gun somewhere around here. Yes! Yes! And, what? What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh. I completely forgot about those power cell things. Oh no. Uh, I think they're over here. If not, I completely missed them at the start of everything. I think I missed them at the start of everything. Oh no. Oh, here it is. It's inside the tram. Uh, okay. What are you doing? I gotta get this train moving. I need you to stay right here, okay? Okay. I promise I won't move. Good. Be careful. Always. Oh boy. Okay, let me out. I wasted a good minute on that. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to win this. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to restart. Uh, where's the, here it is. It is a joint plug, whatever. Okay. All right, That's something. All aboard. Okay. All oh right, no, here's the cutscene I was thinking of. Clear. What? Leon? You're down here too? Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Look, you need to get out, fast. I know. I found a way out. I think... I think we can all make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Don't worry about me. Just get out of here. Leon! Leon! Damn! One of the reasons why I like doing a clear A run through is that you become extremely curious as to how the hell Leon came down here.
getting slower. Claire! It's okay. I just I'm killed here. your dad. We're getting out of here. Would not feel safe yet. <laughs> I'm not till I'm out of there. Right to blow, man. So, what's the first thing you want to do when we get out of here? I want to see where you live. Good. So I take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> really? That bad? Oh yeah. Claire. Leon. It's so good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? <sighs> you did. And that's the end of the A side. Now, we play through the entire thing again, this time with Leon. Now, granted, we fight the same bosses and go to the same places and the items are all in the same spot, but who he interacts with is different, and his dialogue is also different. So, it's completely worth it as well, because I'm sure people are wondering how the hell did Leon end up down there? Claire kind of makes sense. She meets a girl who's able to pull on her heartstrings and help her, and she wants to help her out. This is a little different. But I'll see you guys at the end of the credits. These credits are long. Okay, I think that's the last of the credits, but there is a bonus cutscene. Yeah. It ain't over yet. I wonder what my score was. I did terribly. 24 saves. Oh, I got an A regardless. Took me four hours and 45 minutes. Eh, I can do better, I know, personally. But, but, eh, I wasn't really going for time. I was going for story. Okay, so now we're going to boot up Leon's playthrough. We'll play, like, the first part of, uh... We'll play the first part of Leon's, uh, side of the story. Uh... New game, second run. Leon Kennedy. Second scenario, select. This is the B side. Leon S. Kennedy, after a few days of radio, science from, radio silence from his new post, Leon S. Kennedy drives to Raccoon City to scope things out. Unbeknownst to him, a nightmare awaits. So Leon is on his way to his first day on the job as a police officer. So that's why he's going to Raccoon City, because that's where his station is. The Raccoon City and then I went away too fast. That song they play on the radio for a Leon, they played at the end credits when you beat the B-side. It's a really good song, I highly recommend it. I think it's called like Saw Day or something, it's... It's not in English, so... And well, hello there, Mr. Not Dead Man! Always a pleasure. Going, going down, down. says that Claire was not a zombie and she, he had enough cool to not pull the trigger. No, no. Hopefully they will have some answers at least they Wait, you're right, right, you're hot. hot. Yeah, yeah. Me on the other hand, you are war. Claire, Claire. You're right, right, right.
Investigate Where? police station. I hope you made it here. And they turned the police station or this portion of it into a grave site. Oh, so if you look through here, you'll see that's where Claire came in. We're coming in on like a side entrance. I'm trying to jump, and of course I can't. Oh, let's try to jump over that that grave. Hopefully those people stay dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the spot where Claire came in, and you can hear the helicopter. Ain't that nice? And can't go through there. I think there's like some herbs or something. And a helicopter there as well. All right, I'm back to the beginning with everything. I don't have all the stuff. Oh God. Oh, that sucks. Oh, but yeah. Leon also has a letter. Orientation letter. Officer Leon S. Kennedy. On behalf of the RPD, congratulations on completing your training. Your especially high marks are to be commended, and we cannot be prouder to have you as a member of our force. Police report for orientation at Raccoon City Police Station on Friday, September 25th at 8 a.m. We look forward to serving you. Raccoon City Police Chief Brian Irons. So he got that letter on the 18th. And, jeez, what, what day is it now? I never really thought about that. I guess it is the... Okay, I'm just going to ignore you. I don't have anything to really help me. And I'm going to combine this because, you know, save space that way. I'm just going a little slowly right now because I just, I feel like something's going to pop up, you know? They all are here. They're all technically dead. Not really dead. And here are the bolt cutters for me. Yes. Or cutting tool, whatever. Hey, hey. Claire? Claire? Leon! I'll be right there! Leon, you should get going. going. I guess noise wakes them up. Get yourself so sick. Leon, seriously, they're getting, getting back, back. Please, please, go, go. We're gonna make it. Okay, now it's time for me to run! Oh, no, no, zombies. Uh, nope, 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 don't, don't touch me. Don't, 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 don't touch me. I don't like you. Uh, my mom just let Lady into the room. Hi, Lady. I probably didn't hear her meowing because I have the headphones on too loud. <sighs> well, at least I have my cat to give me comfort. And... Courtyard key. Nice. And I got a snazzy new uniform. Makes, makes sense why Leon would change. His clothes are, like, without a doubt, damp beyond damp. He needs to have a change of clothes. He'll catch his death in this night, if that's the case. Oh, we got the high-caliber casings already. Right. This, this part moves along a lot faster, because it's kind of like a repeat. Apply today. RPD's hiring seminar and job fair, Monday, October 27th, 1997. In session at 8 a.m., written exam at 10 p.m. STARS Special Tactics and Rescue Service, join our team, RPD. Oh, STARS Alpha Team, Brad Vickers. Yeah, he was like the helicopter driver. Ooh, gun, nice. Anyway, he was the helicopter driver for... Yes, I know, Deluxe Weapons Hunter. The helicopter driver! Or pilot, whatever. In the original... Can I keep that gun? Seven, wait, which which ammo does this gun use? Whatever. I think this guy uses the high... I think this is the high caliber one. Okay, so I'm gonna store it for now. And... I'll keep the bolt cutters on me. This is worthless, and so is this. But where's my... Nah, I don't want to risk losing that, so... Just, I'm just gonna go and bear. Anyway, he was the pilot back in the original Spencer Manson. <laughs> I'm never gonna finish this thought. So, one of the things that I've always rationalized, like the reason why whenever you get bitten, you don't often get infected, when you get bitten by a <laughs> Get 
poisoned. Sometimes you get a, what's called a dry bite. No poison is injected into your veins. So I always rationalized that not every bite a zombie gives you is infectious. Oh, sorry, Leon. Sorry I interrupted you, I know the feeling. Uh, which way should I go? Oh wait, no, that way up there is locked. Oh no, but there's a... Uh, things up there I want. Okay. Oh wait, no, but there's a zombie on fire up there, I remembered. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do the long way. Oh my god. Oh, I only have five bullets. Okay, let's just try to rush out of here. <laughs> I should have brought the high quality one. Well, no one to blame but myself. Okay, I, had, I should have planned this better. I'm not finding ammo for this particular gun. Uh... <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, I'm a big enough woman to know when I messed up. And I am willing to redo this for the sake of doing it right. I will see you guys in a bit. Not exactly how I pictured breaking this in. <laughs> <laughs> because humans are voice acting them, but god. Oh, wrong thing. You don't use the bolt cutters on that. You use the key for that. Okay, I'm back. This is not how I imagined my first day. Honestly, I don't think anyone could have imagined this as your first day, Leon. Also, I remembered something pretty important, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to go inside this portion of the building. He's there. <coughs> Hi! Should be a... Ah! Jesus! Alright, I'm gonna brave it and run past. Nope, nope, nope. There should be a board. Yeah, board. That's what I need. That's why I had to pass this guy. I needed this board. It's coming back to me now. Also, uh, lady, my cat wants to leave the room. One moment. Okay, now that I'm in here, alright, I already read that, and I got... Yes, the weapons locker key! Yeah! And I guess there's no point in getting that arm just yet, because I don't have the other part of the puzzle. I'll just leave that be for now. And I'll take the opportunity also to just discard this. And I can't go through here yet, because I have the key. Okay, so I gotta brave it with the zombie on fire! Things are significantly worse. Oh, oh, significantly worse now that there's two of them. Nothing's worse than a zombie on fire. You want, except for two zombies on fire. I don't want to waste bullets on you. So maybe I can just, like, lure you guys away. Run! Run! No, 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 I'm getting attacked by a zombie on fire! Okay, okay, okay. Whatever. I made it. Yes, there's a plant here. If need be, I can take this. Okay. So I now have... a significant wooden shield, blocks, whatever, to keep me safe. <laughs> okay, okay, hurry, 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 hurry. Alright. Eh, I hear him. Okay. Alright. Let's now board this guy up. Okay. I got some more bullets. And I got another healing item. Alright. Things are looking a little better now. Not significantly so. But still better. Alright, so you gotta go. And... Come on. I know. Oh! Really good headshot there. Very happy with that. Okay. I'm just being cautious. All right. Do I still need? Yeah, I still need those fuses. Okay, so the fuses has to be in this room somewhere. So I will find it now that I'm no longer panicking. All right, so it wasn't in this room. I picked the room clean. 
Okay, well, I have some bullets. And I boarded up that wall, or window, whatever. Oh! What was your name again? Elliot! Sorry, Elliot! Scrap of paper. Way out. Oh, we see partial of one of the things. It's man and woman scale. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Okay, I need, I need, I need, okay, one of these, one of these things gets, gets, okay, down here. I need to find another board of wood. Where is it? I'm, all, I'm down to the parking garage, and I can't get through that way, okay. Alright, I need to find that fuse, man, I've completely forgotten where it was. I also need another thing of wood to board up these windows. So otherwise it's gonna be crawling with zombies. I mean, just crawling. Okay, so this is a safe room here. Uh, light please. Here we are. The soothing music of things yet to come. Alright, I'll take a moment and- <gasps> There's the fuse! Well, I need to put stuff in the my inventory. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment to clear this place out. I'll see you guys soon. Alright, got the electrical fuse that I need. Well, there's the other half of you. Oh! What's this? Oh, just a knife. Well, I may as well use it now. Come on! Just come on, hurry up! Okay, he's dead dead. Good, good. Okay, I think I actually did good. I think I did a good job clearing this place out. And now... I want to say we can get out of here, but this is not really getting out of here. Eh, run, run! Oh! Don't run in this direction! Don't worry! I'm gonna clear out the zombies here. Hello? Is anybody here? Anybody here that's still alive, that is. Okay, got a belt. Uh, where's the... Oh, it's gone. Right, I forgot about that. The storage thing is gone now. I forgot about that. that is... ah, it's Marvin! Sorry, right, Marvin. Oh, well, thank you, Marvin, for making that a little easier on me. Okay. Come on. No. Just die. Okay. So there is no crate around here, unfortunately. And I kind of forget where it is now. This is gonna suck. Oh, it's about to suck even more, because Mr. X comes prematurely. I forgot about that. Something tells me he's not a cop. What gave you that idea, Leon? Okay, ooh, right. Notebook with missing page. Okay, so the lady statue was Ramhead Harp Bird. Do we have the lion statue here? No, we do not. But I do hear the pitter patter steps of a lady zombie. Well, I hear her voice echoing, at least. Oh, there she is. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to preemptively take you down. Oh, missed. No worries. I can wait for you to pop your little head around. No. Bad. I want to just make sure this one's clear. Just back off. Stop. Stop resisting. Accept your fate. Nope, not dead yet. Okay, now, now she's dead. Okay. Oh. What in the? Yeah. Liquors appear early. So we are not going to run. Um. You know we're also gonna board up this window because I I remember that being helpful. No. No, not looking, not looking, not looking. If I don't look, it's not there. If I don't look, it's 
it's not real. That's the logic I'm doing right now. Run. Just run. Just run. Just get out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Okay. It was right above me the whole time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> with me. Thankfully. Oh, God. <sighs> I'm doing so poorly. Oh! He's actually dead dead. Very good. And you are not dead dead. Come on. Ooh! Nice! Oh! Not nice. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing this fine evening? You look great. <laughs> I couldn't get in through the door. I got stuck. I panic at the drop of a hat, or wherever the expression is. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Oh, no, you're coming back up, ma'am. What the? What the, indeed? I'm panicking too much. Okay, so instead of a grenade launcher, Leon gets a good old shotgun instead. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit further until I get to, like, the next point where I can, like, save my game. And then I'll end the video there. Oh god, this place is so much more tense because the zombies are everywhere. <laughs> Suddenly clear headed easy now, didn't she? Oh, nice. I think our buddy's still in here. Yep. Hello, friend. So, what does Leon get in this room? Oh, that Magnum handgun. Oh, I want that. Claire's memo. Oh, this is new. Leon, I hope you find this. The station's done. Get out of here ASAP. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. And don't stress about my brother either. Just focus on getting yourself out of here alive. Claire. I don't remember Claire writing that, but it was very nice of her to do so. Okay. I got... Oh, Jesus God! Christ! Oh, my God! It's Mr. X! It's Mr. X! It's Mr. X! Okay, run! 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 Just run! I was not expecting Mr. X. I was expecting a liquor. And Mr. X is supremely worse than a liquor. Oh, God, at least you can kill liquors. You can't kill Mr. X. Mr. X is immortal. Well, I guess William did kill Mr. X, but he's a an anonymally, anonymous, whatever the word is. I can't do words right now. Thank God I killed out everything here. Oh, God. Would have been supremely bad for me had I not. I hear him. Oh, he's right there. Well, isn't that just convenient for me, isn't it? Oh, boy. You know what? I'm gonna find a safe spot, I think. And I'll end the video there, because I have a lot of stuff. And I said I'd end the video once I find another safe spot. Oh, yes. I think I'm a genius for thinking that far ahead. And... Oh, he's right behind me. Okay. I'm almost there. He can't get me when I'm in this room. Okay. I think with that, I'm going to leave this episode here so I have a moment to de-stress. So, if you guys enjoy what you're watching, hit subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with the story, ring that bell. And thank you all so much for watching. Later!